to some groundbreaking medical news coming out of the Democratic Republic of Congo. A team of researchers has found a high number of people who appear to be able to fight HIV without using antiretroviral treatment. These findings published Tuesday in eBioMedicine may help researchers uncover biological trends within this population that could lead to advancements in HIV treatments and potentially vaccines. Abbott Laboratory researchers said this group of people that test positive uh, for HIV antibodies but in the end have low to non-detectable viral load counts without using ARVs. They are referred to as HIV elite controllers. Well, let's find out more about this. I'm now joined by Dr. Kuku Apia via Zoom, a medical director at the Abbott Rapid Diagnostics Africa. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for your time. Firstly, can you give us more details on this report and what it actually means for the fight against HIV? Thank you very much. So for over 25 years, Abbott has been involved in global surveillance around the HIV virus. And so we have um, compiled a huge archive of samples of, uh, um, from different regions. But when we analyze these uh, samples that were collected in the 80s, in the 2000s, and recently up to 2019, we discovered a cluster of um, uh, elite HIV elite, elite controllers from the Democratic Republic of Co uh, Congo. And these are people that have got a low to undetectable viral loads, high CD4 counts and intact immune systems. And we have uh, tested to make sure that they were not on any antiretroviral treatment or anything else that could explain this, um, the, the, the fact that their body is controlling the HIV infection, except that they have some ge specific genetic um, um, uh, advantages, which is allowing them to have been HIV positive for all this time, but not actually develop the, H the AIDS disease. Mm. And they're not on any, um, they were not on any, an any antiretroviral therapy. Mm. This, this finding is a breakthrough and it's able to uh, add to the information that we have around um, HIV and what makes different people respond differently to the virus. Um, and, and this knowledge that we have, um, once it's, it's, it's um, adopted by other investigators, it takes us one step towards finding a cure for HIV. Mm. Thank you. And doctor, just talk us through the numbers in the DRC study. How big is this cluster of people who have very low viral loads? And why then, from a numbers perspective, is the outcome considered as very significant? So it's 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 we found about 400 um, 400 people in out of a uh, hundred thousand people. So what what we found among the people that were analyzed in Kinshasa, um, we found 2.7 to 4.3 percent um, of this the presence of these um, HIV elite controllers, a much higher percentage compared to the overall prevalence of 0.1 to 0.2 percent that you find globally. So obviously they, this is a cluster and um, we need to um, investigate or investigators will need to look more into this group of people to find out what are the links between this, their ability to naturally suppress the HI virus and how this can lead um, to future uh, treatment regimens. Thank you so, so much. Um, definitely there was a more, much higher um, percentage of people that are um, elite HIV controllers in this cluster um, from the Democratic Republic of Congo. We have also seen similar patterns in, in Cameroon and both of these countries are countries that um, have, have shown extreme variants in the HIV, um, uh, the HIV patterns that they have and also um, looking at whether this is where the origins of HIV disease come from. Fascinating indeed. Thank you so much for your time. Dr. Kuku Apia joining us there on this medical breakthrough that could one day contribute to a cure for HIV.